Automating repetitive tasks and processes is key to making your business more efficient and therefore saving you time and money. In this short tutorial, you will learn how to automate the task of updating the link on this button here on my link page, link in bio page, link tree page or whatever you want to call it with the new link of my latest YouTube video that I published on my channel. Now you might be thinking, well, that's just a stupid simple task that would only take a few minutes to do manually. Yes, and that's exactly why it's perfect to automate it. To do this manually would indeed only take a few minutes every time I post a new video, which in my case is once a week. But this is also the kind of tiny task that you usually just forget to do. Even if you set a reminder in your calendar, you most likely won't do it right that second when the notification pops up. And what happens is that you completely forget it. Therefore, your link points to the wrong video, your new one won't get as many views as expected, because people who click on this link on your link page will still be sent to the wrong older video. So why even bother thinking about it and doing it manually when you can have it run fully automatically in the background, set it up once and then forget it. First things first, you don't need any paid plans for any of the tools I'm about to show you. Everything I'm going to show you can be done for free. The only thing you do need though is your own domain, but you most likely already have one if you're watching this video. If not, I'll leave a link to Namecheap in the video description below where you can get your own domain. You get one for about 10 bucks per year, so basically a negligible business expense. Now let's dive into my setup to show you how you can do it. I'm using these three tools. System.io, which is where my entire business runs on. Shop, website, funnels, courses, email marketing, everything. Short.io, which is my link management and link tracking tool that I use to create all my branded links and also track where all the clicks come from. Pipedream, which is the tool that connects everything and runs the automation. So this is the core of it all. And this goes without saying, you obviously need a YouTube channel to which you upload your videos. To get started and set up and test the automation, we need to use a link to an existing video. So copy the URL to any of your videos from your browser or from the YouTube studio. Then head over to your short.io account and create a new short link by pasting the link to your video here at the top. Now at this point I need to mention that for this to work, you need to have your own domain already added to your short.io account. This step is not part of this tutorial here, but it's pretty much self-explanatory. You would just go to add domain here in the side menu and follow the instructions. In my case, my main domain is nyavimi.com and so for all my short links I have set up a separate subdomain called link.nyavimi.com. After pasting your video link at the top here, this window opens where you can define the so-called slug of your short link, which is the part after your domain, so in my case this is yt latest. Click save. So my full short link is now link.nyavimi.com yt latest. Open your pipe dream account. Then on the left click on workflows. In the top right click on new workflow. Initially you need to create the project to create your workflows in. So give it a name and then click the button to continue. Next give your workflow a name and leave everything on default. Click the button to create your workflow. Now we can build our workflow by first setting up the trigger. So search for YouTube and then select the first one here called YouTube Data API. Then we need to select the actual trigger of this workflow. You see that you have lots of options to automate many other tasks just with YouTube alone. But this tutorial is about updating our link when we upload a new video. One thing I have to mention here is that this YouTube API does not yet distinguish whether a new video upload is a normal YouTube video or a YouTube short. Keep this in mind if you publish both long videos and shorts on your channel. As I said in the intro, I'm going to show you how I set it up and how it's been working flawlessly for me. I publish both types of videos on my channel, long videos as well as YouTube shorts. But I only want to trigger this workflow to update my link page button here for my long videos, not for all the shorts I upload. The only way currently to achieve this and how I solved it is to choose this trigger here called new videos in playlist. You'll see why in a second. If you want to update your link for each and every single video you upload, no matter long or short, you can choose this trigger new videos in channel instead. After selecting the trigger, you first need to connect your YouTube channel here. So click on connect new account and follow the instructions. Then you need to enter your playlist ID and this is how I do it. Every new long video that I upload and publish, I add to a playlist on my channel. In my case, this is just a playlist of all my videos called Smart Succeeder A to Z. 
This playlist contains all my long-form videos. And this is why I can use the new videos in playlist trigger. So every time I upload a new video and add it to this playlist, this workflow will be triggered and my button link will be updated. So go to your YouTube studio and select the playlist, in my case this one here, and then copy the playlist ID from the browser address bar. What you need is this part here. Then add a name and click on create source. Now, if everything is connected correctly, you should see some of your videos listed in this drop-down menu here. Just select one to continue the setup. It doesn't matter which one. But I suggest you select one that is different from the one you used in step one earlier, so that you can later check back in your short.io account if the automatic update actually worked. Click continue. That's it for the trigger part. Now we need to define what should happen once this workflow is triggered. So search for short.io, select it and then choose update a short link. Now again, first connect your short.io account and then here select your short link that you want to have updated with your new video link. In the domain field, select your domain or subdomain you connected to your short.io account. The most important part is this field here called original URL. So click on it and then select the path of steps, trigger, event, content details, video ID. Now it should look like this. But this is not our full link yet. For this to work, type or copy paste the first part here manually in front of this inserted variable. So the whole thing, https www.youtube.com watch. The rest of the settings here are not relevant for the basic setup to work. So you can click on test at the bottom. Now, as you can see here in my account, I also set up these redirect links for iPhone and Android phones. This is an advanced technique to set up so-called deep links. What they do is that when someone clicks on your link, it will not open in the browser window on the mobile device, but it will directly open in the YouTube app if it is installed on the device. Maybe I'll make a separate video about this topic at some point, but I won't go into the details here. If you know what you are doing, just pause the video now to see how these links are defined so that you could use them in your setup. Once the test has run through, you should see a success notification and you can now also go back to your short.io account to find your updated short link. The final step is to deploy your workflow. So click here or here. Now the last step is to simply paste your short link wherever you want, which in my case is this button here on my link page. In your system.io account, you can design a page like this however you want. You can use buttons, a grid of images, plain text links, whatever you want. I also added a tiny piece of custom code to my page to get this animation when someone hovers over the buttons. Just head over to saxi.yavimi.com to see my actual live link page. It's the first link in the video description below. Oh, and by the way, if you want to save yourself some time, you can get my link page template that you can copy directly into your own free system.io account and build your page up from there. Just scroll all the way down and click here. Also, right now at the time of publishing this video, I have a limited sale running for this template. So grab it now before it's too late. I don't know if I'll make another sale anytime soon, so go check it out. Again, it's the first link in the description below. There you will also find all the other links to all the tools used and mentioned in this video. I said it many times on this channel already and as you can tell from this video, I'm a bit of an automation nerd and basically follow the idea of what can be automated should be automated. Comment below if you have any questions or ideas you want to see me cover about these topics because automation is crucial for a more time and cost efficient business. So now we are in my system.io account in the page editor of my actual live link page here. Because our workflow between YouTube and short.io has already been set up and tested, all you need to do now is to put your short link to your link page. In my case, I created this button here that says watch latest YouTube video. When I select this button, then here on the left side, we can see the URL setting. This is where you paste your short link from short.io. You can also change all the other settings here, like whether you want the link to open the same or a new browser window, the button text, colors, fonts, everything. Just to say it again, you can build a page like this for free on system.io. You do not need a paid plan. There are many tasks and processes across all kinds of app one can automate in any business. And there are other automation tools like Zapier and Make that I use for other automation tasks. Hopefully this video has also given you some ideas or inspiration on what else you could automate in your business to save time and money. Or you have learned about some tools you didn't know yet and which could be useful to you. While you now know how you can automate this 
this particular task, you first need to have your own link page like this one I just showed you in this video. So watch this video next to learn how you can build your own link page for free on system.io.